This is the Smith's Detection 6046 SI system, which is a dual view system. So when you start thinking about um, the interface in regards to the automatic detection, high density alert, high spot, the red box for explosive detection, everything's the same as any other Smith's Detection system out there. But one difference this system's gonna have uh, against all the other ones is its ability to do what we call liquid explosive detection. And there's actually a test kit that comes with this system that lets you verify if the system has been calibrated correctly and the liquid detection is actually working. What's nice about this little kit, it actually comes with a set of instructions inside of it that tells you how to do this test. And this test is done after you have done the full calibration on the system. And inside this are two test objects that you'll use for the test, okay? The first one is just basically water. So you see how this water moves very freely inside here? It's not viscous at all. Um, and the next one is the actual simulant for uh, an ex a liquid explosive. But you see how much thicker this is? It's actually a glycerin, which is a great simulant for liquid explosives. There's not really a lot of liquid explosives out there or in the true sense of the word. And most of them have to be mixed with something else before they actually detonate or high order. But again, it was one of the concerns for the aviation industry. So Smith's Detection developed this liquid explosives detection test kit. So what you do is you take these two test objects and you place them in a specialized bin that's been provided by Smith's Detection with the system. Um, and you, it doesn't matter which way you place them in there, but you place these two items inside of the bin and then you're gonna run it through the system. And if you follow the instructions, it's very simple. The one that is not the water should alarm and the water should not alarm. So we simply place it on the belt. Run this through the system and we should get an alarm if it's calibrated correctly on the, the item that's uh, designed to alarm, which is the liquid explosive sim simulant. As you can see here in this image, we got the automatic detection red box around that object and the water did not get an alarm. So once you run this test, that verifies that your liquid detection is calibrated uh, correctly. And they can also assume that your explosive detection is also calibrated correctly. So if this doesn't alarm the way you're seeing it here and the way it's provided in the instructions, you need to recalibrate the system with the vendor provided calibration step wedges.